As computers evolved from very early transistor-based models to the desktop personal computers using microchips, memory and instruction registers were 8 bits in length with computing, having to adapt to the standard decimal-based system. Specific instructions used by programmers early on were designed with 8 bits in length to facilitate all of computing, and these instructions have been maintained throughout the years of computer development and will most likely continue to be used in the future. Within computers, each of the 8 bits have only two values for representing either a logic 1, or true, and a logic 0, or false. This is what is referred to as Boolean in computer science. Boolean logic and expressions make the system of using binary numbers perfect for use in digital or electronic circuits and systems. At RealPars, we love helping you learn. So if you enjoy this video as much as we enjoyed making it, click the like button. Subscribe and click the bell, and you'll receive notifications of new RealPars videos. So you'll never miss another one. The BCD system offers relative ease of conversion between machine-readable and human-readable numerals. An advantage of the binary coded decimal system is each decimal digit is denoted by a group of four binary digits, and that it allows easy conversion between decimal, a base 10 system, and binary, a base 2 system. A disadvantage is BCD code does not use all the states between binary 1010 for the decimal 10 and binary 1111 for the decimal 15. Binary coded decimal has specifically important applications using digital displays. Now, let's talk about the binary numbering system used in computers. The system is a base 2 numbering system, which follows the same set of rules used with decimal or base 10 number system. Base 10 uses powers of 10. For example, 1, 10, 100, 1000, and so on where binary numbers use powers of 2, effectively doubling the value of each sequential bit. For example, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and so on. This conversion between binary and decimal values is called binary coded decimal and allows for easy conversion between decimal and binary numbers. Binary coded decimal, or BCD, is a code using a series of binary digits or bits that, when decoded, represents a decimal digit. A decimal number contains 10 digits, 0 to 9. So each decimal digit 0 through 9 is represented by a series of four binary bits where the numerical value, when decoded, is equivalent to a decimal digit. In BCD, we will use binary numbers from 0000 to 1001 which are equivalent to decimal 0 to 9. Using the decimal number 5, for example, 5 in BCD is represented by 0101, and 2 in BCD is represented by 0010, and 15 in BCD is represented by 00010101. let us look a bit closer on how this conversion works. The weighted binary coded decimal representation of a decimal number and the comparison to the decimal weighted representation. As we can see, the decimal weight of each decimal digit to the left increases by a factor of 10. With BCD number system, the binary weight of each digit increases by a factor of 2. The first digit has a weight of 1, or 2 to the power of 0. The second digit has a weight of 2, or 2 to the power of 1. The third digit has a weight of 4, or 2 to the power of 2. And the fourth digit has a weight of 8, or 2 to the power of 3. Now, with the basic understanding of the binary weighted system, the relationship between decimal numbers and weighted binary coded decimal digits for decimal values of 0 through 15, are provided as a truth table for BCD. 
Keep in mind, binary code to decimal is not the same as binary to decimal conversion. For example, if I would represent the decimal number 72 in both forms, the bit formation would be like this. When we use a table to explain and expand out the weighted values using 16 bits, we can convert the following decimal numbers, 9620, 120, and 4568 into their binary equivalents. By adding together all the decimal number values from right to left from each of the bit positions that are represented by a 1 gives us the decimal equivalent. However, for the same decimal number, the BCD form representation will be like this. 9620 equals this BCD value. 120 equals this BCD value. 4568 equals this BCD value. Electronic circuits and systems can be divided into two types of circuits, analog and digital. Analog circuits amplify varying voltage levels that can alternate between a positive and negative value over a period of time, and digital circuits produce distinct positive or negative voltage levels representing either a logic level 1 or a logic level 0 state. Voltages used in digital circuits could be any value. However, in digital and computer systems, they are below 10 volts. In digital circuits, voltages are called logic levels, and typically one voltage level will represent a high state, and the lower voltage level will represent a low state. A binary number system will use both of these two states. Digital signals consist of discrete voltage levels that change between these two high and low states. BCD was commonly used for displaying alphanumeric in the past, but in modern day, BCD is still used with real-time clocks, or RTC chips, to keep track of wall clock time, and it's becoming more common for embedded microprocessors to include an RTC. It's very common for RTCs to store the time in BCD format. A binary clock might use LEDs to express binary values. With this clock, each column of LEDs displays a binary coded decimal numeral. Back in the days before touchscreens, seven segment displays and thumbwheel switches were used for a numerical interface between PLCs and humans. Even before the PLC, these BCD type devices were the only graphical way to interface with system circuits numerically. Some PLCs, for example, Siemens S7 standard timer and counter data types use binary coded decimal in their data structures because these structures go back to when engineers had to deal with things like these thumb wheels and seven segment displays. In fact, the S7 timer set points are still entered as S5 time hash two seconds for a two second set point because this is inherited from the S5 PLC platform. These timers use three BCD digits, or 12 bits, and two extra bits for the time base. This is true for counters in which they only count from 0 to 999. This concludes the video. What is Binary Coded Decimal, or BCD, and how is it used in automation? Here at RealPars, our team of experts is on hand to answer your questions and respond to your feedback. If you'd like to learn more about any of the topics covered in this video, head over to our website at realpars.com. We'd love to hear your suggestions for topics you want our team to cover. Also, be sure to download the RealPars app. When you download the app, you'll be able to watch an entire free course on PLC hardware. Just like this video, the lessons are all high quality and also very easy to follow. By downloading the RealPars app, you have access to a wealth of practical knowledge as an automation engineer right in your pocket. And you'll also receive new fresh out of the oven videos each and every week.